Well, this is awkward. Hey guys, this is Advanced Logic, and as of October 26th, I believe, or a little, or October 24th, I can't even remember, hang on. As of October 26, 2011, I have reached 500 subscribers, and I think right now I'm at 513, 516, I don't even know. But anyway, without further ado, and without further delay, because I've been way too freaking busy and tired and all that other good shit, without further delay, Let's get to those 500 subs questions. Yeah, my way entertainment fans are probably gonna have my head for that. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so let's get started, shall we? So 1024 Miguel, he asks, "What he asks, what is the first video game you ever played?" Well, that's definitely a start for the, all the questions I have. Uh, I think the first video game I ever played was a tie between uh, Battletoads and Double Dragon and uh, Super Mario All-Stars for the SNES. And I think... I'm pretty sure Battletoads and Double Dragon was the first game I ever played, or at least the one I actually remember the most. And again, it, it is kind of fitting that I actually did make that as my uh, first Let's Play, so... Works out for everybody, I guess. <laughs> so, and... I'm going to try going through these questions as fast as possible because I know there's one person who left me, I think, six or seven comments worth of questions. Six. And seven comments worth of questions. And I just got to stop slamming my desk. John XT7 asked, the most awkward situation you had with a girl. My first date. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Quinman89 asks, what system did you play growing up? Colon 3. It's like equals 3, but with a colon. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, the system I played growing up was the SNES. We did have an NES when I was younger, but uh, yeah, I didn't really play it much. Mainly because, yeah, I don't remember anything of my NES. Like, other than some home videos that I've seen before when, like, my sisters would play it. But even then, all I saw was Super Mario Brothers. XRS Near X says, Prepare thyself. Well, I'm fucked. What was the weirdest thing you have experienced? Mm, that depends on your definition of weird. Uh, shit, I don't even know. Weirdest thing that I have experienced. Uh, answering these questions, I suppose. I've never done something like this before. What subconscious or mundane things do girls do that turn you on? Oh, this one's easy. <laughs> it's when they have like a ponytail on them, and then when they undo that hair, and then they just like mess with it, I'm just like, ah, oh, yes. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to stop getting worked up now. If you could tell one person one thing, who and what would that be? I would go back into the past, talk to myself about four years ago, and tell him to start growing some balls, and yeah, grow some balls, goddammit. Do shit more impulsively, as I would probably say. What are some words you always spell wrong? Weird. That is one word that I can never spell right, because I always end up spelling it W-E-I-R-D, when I think it should be W-I-E-R-D. I think. Weird is a weird word to spell. <laughs> what is your greatest mind-blown moment? Huh. Well, I remember seeing this one picture on the internet where, uh... It was a Super Mario Brothers picture where... You know how Mario usually hits blocks, like, on the classic NES one? Where, like, it actually zoomed in, like, on how he was hitting it. It turns out he was actually... Like, his hand was just slightly higher than his head. So, in reality, he's never been hitting his blocks... The blocks with his head rather when he's been doing it with his hand. When I first saw that, I was just like, oh my fucking god, and then my mind just like, <laughs> everywhere. I couldn't move for weeks. If you were given a clone who resembled you physically in every way, what would you do with him slash her? Are you implying I'm partially a woman? Because you might be onto something there. No. So, what would I do with my clone that resembles me physically in every way? I would murder him. Just to see what it was like. What are the weirdest sexualish things you have fantasized about as a kid? 
does a kid ever fantasize anything actually sexual? I mean, I'm sure kids, when they're younger, they actually do, like, imagine, or at least boys, at least, like, they do imagine being, having a dream where they're surrounded by women and stuff, and pretty much a whole harem thing going on. <laughs> But, yeah, I don't think they ever imagine anything sexual because I'm I'm pretty sure with the whole media thing, they think, oh, this is what everyone wants, so I should want it too, so, yeah. And as for me, I never really fantasized anything sexual-ish as a kid. I mean, yes, I was more prone to romance and stuff as a kid. In fact, I had, like, a crush in kindergarten that wouldn't go away for years. And, yep, that has scarred me for life. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Yeah, nothing really sexual, so I can't really answer that question. Sorry. The Ryan227 asks, Favorite vegetable? What the fuck is a vegetable? What's your capture card? I have a Pinnacle Dazzle. I would want to show it, but yeah. Not really going to do much. You know what? Fuck it. Not entirely sure if you can see that. This is my capture card, the Pinnacle Dazzle. And yeah, not exactly the best quality for recording, but it gets the job done for me right now, since I can't really record in any other way. I want to get an HP uh, PVR, but those things cost a lot. A whole lot. I think like $200, so yeah. I'm not exactly the person that's uh, balling with that kind of money, so... Unfortunately, I gotta stick with the Dazzle for now. And yeah, damn it, I want an HD PVR, but those things cost... Ass loads. If only I were richer. Or rich in general. Mac or PC? Uh, it depends on the situation because most people in my computer science department, they actually do use Macs because, like, our serve, our, like, whole server thing is pretty much based on Unix, which, what our, uh, like, Mac computers, like, their OSs are based off of, like, Unix operating system. So yeah, people usually prefer using Macs, but a few people actually do use PC because, yeah, Macs are really fucking expensive, of course. So yeah, the cheap route, I would say go with PC, but with Mac, yeah, <laughs> if you have the money for it, by all means, go for it. Bullet Bison asks, I lolled at all the other videos to the right saying 500 subscribers special Q&A. <laughs> I know. Anyways, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Colon P. Nah. What would I do for a Klondike bar? I would do anything, but not that. Well, maybe that. Chino X2 asks, What was it that inspired you to do Let's Plays in the first place? Well, definitely Chuck Conroy and Nintendo Capri Sun were like some inspirations, but they didn't really give me the push to actually do Let's Plays. Like, the person that actually gave me the push to do Let's Plays was Man of One Title. And I might link you to his channel somewhere right around here, maybe, possibly? Maybe. Anyway, Man of One Title, yeah, he started doing, well, he does, he did these one things called Banner Ring Reviews where he reviewed, uh, like, anime in his own perspective, or well, pretty much in an American's perspective, and, like, how, like, usual animes would actually be absurd, and you'd be like, what the fuck, if you were an American, if you didn't know about Japanese culture. But then, after a while, he decided he wanted to try out his hand on Let's Plays, and then, like, the forum we used to go on, like, everyone started getting pumped up, like, oh, shit, I've been wanting to try to do Let's Plays, too. And then, like, once Man of One, Twi Ma bleh, once Man of One Title started doing his Let's Plays, everyone else in the forum, or uh, quite a number of people in the forum actually started following him. They're all like, oh, shit, I'm making my Let's Play, too. And I was one of those people, though. I had a hard time figuring out what to do my, for my first Let's Play. And then someone just told me, hey, you should probably do, like, a game that... Like, you remember from your past, and then all of a sudden it hit me with Battletoads and Double Dragon. I was just like, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. But then, yeah. So, yeah, Nintendo Capri Sun and Chuck Conroy, they were inspirations, but Man of One Title gave me the push to actually do what I am today. Along with you guys that actually do, like, support the videos and such. So, yeah, Man of One... Chuck Conroy and Nintendo Capri Sun were inspirations. Man of One Title pushed me, and you guys continue to push me, as cheesy as that may sound. What's the longest you have gone without playing video games? Two seconds. Three. Four. Five. I don't even have a watch. What are your thoughts on doing another co-op Let's Play? I actually am going to be doing another co-op Let's Play within the next, uh, two to three weeks. Because I'm recording this on November 6, 2011, 
And the one co-op let's play, the the one co-op let's play I'm going to be doing, it's probably going to be starting around like after Thanksgiving. Just letting you guys know that right now. And yeah, one of my subscribers is actually going to be co-oping this game with me. And dude, please, for the love of crap, do not spoil it. And such. Please and thank you, very good sir. Just letting you know. How much of a Tales fan are you? Uh, not that much, really. I've only played Tales of Symphonia and Tales of Vesperia. And, yeah. Those are the only two Tale games that I've actually played. I know about there's Tales of Destiny, Tales of the... Tales of the Abyss, Tales of Fantasia, which usually most people actually play, and they're all like, oh, shit, this is awesome. Only, I don't know. I've tried playing Tales of Fantasia. I found the battle system really annoying to work with. Especially, I don't know, because... I know in Tales of Fantasia there's like uh, long range arts and short range arts. And like whenever you use like a short range art from a distance from an enemy, like you start running towards the enemy, you hit them, and then you run back. I'm just like, what the fuck? So yeah, I'm kind of glad they worked their way out from Tales of Fantasia. I'm pretty sure it's a really good game if I got used to the battle system. I'm pretty sure the story is just like, holy shit. But I couldn't really get into it because, yeah, the battle system just annoys the ever-loving crap out of me. I might get Tales of Graces, though, like if it comes out for the PS3 here in the North America. And I might also get Tales of the Abyss if they release it here in like North America for the 3DS. I know there's the PS2 version, but yeah, I don't have a PS2. And I highly doubt like any PS2 Tales of the Abyss is actually work on a PS3. If it does, well shit, I don't know why I don't have it in the first place, <laughs> seriously. What is an average day for you when you go to work? Eh... Very slow, honestly. Lately, it's just been getting slow. Then again, it's starting to get cold where I live now, so yeah. People are going to start coming in for food, and i got to stop touching my face. What do you do this to me, four hands? Ah! Okay, yeah. Uh, give me a minute. Eh, eh, there we go. My hands are no longer part of this program. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, I'm done. Anyway... An average day for me at work, it's usually I just go in, usually uh, prep some toppings and stuff, because I'm a pizza boy now. I used to wash dishes for like two years, but then, yeah, I just, they decided, screw it, you're moving on up to the east side and the, to the DLX apartment in the sky or some shit like that. So yeah, now I do pizzas, now I'm starting to enjoy it, especially during the winter, because it gets cold, and when I wash dishes, I always end up getting like my pants soaking wet because of the freaking hose. And yeah, that hot water mixed with cold weather, it does not help with sicknesses at all. But yeah, I prep toppings, make sure that everything in our station is kept up to peace, I guess. Make pizzas, and all this other shit. That's pretty much all I do at work. And I only work three days in the week, too, and not very much either, because I only work like at the least five hours a week, five hours a day, and I work for three days. Saturday, I work all day. But yeah, that's all I do at work. Not much, not really interesting. How would you describe yourself in one small paragraph? Hmm. All right, I think I got a way to answer this. There once was a boy. He was a complete pussy. He was so much of a pussy, he would cry at anything. Even that stuff that didn't happen to him. And everyone hated him. The end. How come most of your Let's Plays are centered over Nintendo? Well, that one's a simple one. First of all, I grew up on Nintendo. I didn't even get... I didn't get any other sort of uh, console from any other generation up until this recent one when I finally got like an Xbox 360 and a PS3. And yeah, I didn't play Xbox... The original Xbox. I never played that one. I never played PS1. I never played PS2. And yeah. So yeah, I never played PS1 or PS2. Never played Xbox. Never played Sega. Never played any of those. I always grew up on Nintendo up until recently. So yeah, that's mainly why I only play Nintendo games. So, No offense, that's kind of a dumb question. <laughs> Most people that actually do play Nintendo games grew up on Nintendo. Very rarely do they actually play any of the newer ones. Or like any of the, like, uh, any other console generation or whatever. 
So yeah. Plus, I do want to do some other like uh, let's plays for let's plays for other games on other consoles. But as I told you guys before, with the Pinnacle Dazzle, uh, not exactly the best quality to be recording. Not to mention like my capture card actually records like at a darker quality. Even if I raise the brightness on like the recording, like through my laptop. Or raise the brightness on my TV. That doesn't affect it at all. No matter what I do. So, yeah. So, there's like... If there's ever a dark segment in a video game... In a newer video game, which I'm pretty sure there is. It's not going to come out of very good quality at all. You'll barely see anything. If you barely see, like, the character at all. So, yeah. I want to wait until... I get a more better capture card to actually start recording, like, more newer video games... So yeah, what is your opinion on what is happening with Mega Man? I have no opinion on that. I've never played Mega Man. And I'll just leave it at that. Last question. Can we be friends? That depends. What's your definition of a friend? Because I do provide you guys with uh, videos and such, but... Yes, I do want to get closer to you guys too, but... I don't know how to put that. I guess we could be friends, yeah. Flaming Blue Gamer asks... Will you ever do Tales of Symphonia? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Who does your favorite Let's Plays? That's a weird question. I don't even get how that works. Who does your favorite Let's Plays? So who does my favorite Let's Plays? Hmm. Well, Chuga Conroy up until recently. And then, like, I've been focusing a lot more on Nintendo Capri Sun, too. And who else? I've been watching a bit of Falcon Punch and Sholly too, but not that much because yeah, I've been focusing on my classes and such. Yeah, that's I don't know if he's saying who does my favorite let's who does if he's asking for who does my favorite let's plays or what my favorite let's plays are. So yeah, that's kind of a weird question. What is your recording and editing setup? Up, oh, gotta move the camera. <laughs> So yeah, I kind of have some limited range right here. Yeah, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to disconnect it right there. There we go, buddies. So there's my Pinnacle Dazzle. I have it hooked up through this one uh, thing right here. Just kind of connected right here. And it leads to the back of right here. And uh, you're going to see a clusterfuck of uh, wires right here. And I think this is the one for the Pinnacle Dazzle. Like... I have like these one uh, Y splitter cables for connecting it to the back of my teeth. God damn it! My Wii sensor! <laughs> ah! Uh, anyway. And here's where I have the like console hooked up. Right now I have the N64 hooked up because I recorded some Paper Mario earlier. And yeah, right here I have the one for the Wii. For the 360 though, I gotta pull out like an, an entirely new sort of uh, wire for that in order for it to actually record it, because for the 360, I have to set it to standard definition rather than high definition. And anyway, uh, I don't know how to explain this. I suck at answering questions. I don't know why I did this, but oh well, no regrets. Anyway, here's the pinnacle dazzle, and here's the USB connection. Just connect it right. And it goes here to this laptop, and you guys are going to see the list of questions I have right here. Holy mother of crap. <laughs> So, yep, that's it for my setup, I guess. I can't really go into much more detail than that. It's basic Let's Play setup, I suppose. GamerBoy603 asks, What is your favorite Tales game? There we go. What is your favorite Tales game? Definitely has to go to Tales of Vesperia. I mean, Tales of Symphonia got me into the Tales series. Ah, damn it. Work with me, camera. Work with me. Uh, Tales of Symphonia did get me into this Tales series, and it had, like, yeah, it's just like, oh my god, man. The story just had me going like, oh my god, and I just started crying at the end of it. God, I was such a pussy as a kid. <laughs> and with Tales of Vesperia, though, that just like pushed me over the edge. And not to mention, do I even have to mention Yuri? Yuri motherfucking Lowell. LOL. Yeah, I don't know. I'm putting my arms back so that way I don't go back to my habit of touching my face. <laughs> so yeah, Tales of Vesperia is definitely my favorite Tales game so far. I'm pretty sure... Well, I still have to play Tales of the Abyss and Tales of Graces if they ever do come out in like the newer consoles and stuff. 
So, yeah. For now, it's Tales of Vesperia. And it might stay Tales of Vesperia even if I do play the next two Tales games that I have in mind. What other Tales games are you going to Let's Play? Definitely Tales of Symphonia, as I told uh, Flaming Blue Gamer. So, yeah, definitely Tales of Symphonia. And if I ever do get into it, I might record Tales of Graces. I'm probably never going to record Tales of the Abyss, though, because... Yeah, that's on a 3DS, and that would be really awkward to try to record. What was the most embarrassing moment you've ever had? Hoo-hoo. You guys are gonna love this. Well, it all started... And I don't know where the mayonnaise went. 